I believe that the number one thing that the public needs to know about prescribed fire is that it's a scientifically proven tool to reduce future catastrophic wildfire. Prescribed fire is the only tool in our toolbox that we have to treat the surface fuels. Prescribed fire is fire at the right time, in the right place, with the things in place that you need to make sure that it's going to be safe and it's actually going to meet objectives. Prescribed fire is so important because we live in a fire-dependent ecosystem. Many of us may not think that we do. Even if you live on the west side, that just has a longer return interval. Where we are right now, this forest normally would have burned somewhere in the neighborhood of five to 15 years. Prescribed fire benefits the ecosystems in, in many different ways. With the prescribed fire, the planning that goes into it, the work to hold it in one place, we're able to mitigate how much ground is burned at once. There's a lot of preparation on the dirt itself, whether that's putting in fire lines, uh, removing hazard trees, staging water, staging hose lines, you know, talking to neighbors, things of that nature. That itself entails just hours and hours and hours of walking through the forest, measuring fuels, looking up, looking down, looking at the entire big picture uh, so you can put together a safe and efficient operation. It truly is a controlled burn. I've worked in a number of communities that are hesitant to try the tool because they're so fearful of the risk and the way that they picture in their heads is often very different from the type of fire that's on the ground or even just the tactics that are used to put it down on the ground. And I think those communities, not only one year after the burn, two years after the burn, when they see that black starting to fade into green as the grasses recover, as the trees really recover, they see more wildlife coming into those stands, they see more mushrooms coming into those stands. Just ecologically, they see the flush that that fire can bring and that it's not a destroyer, it's truly that phoenix, it brings rebirth. We need to see more of it and we need to reduce the hurdles and the public needs to be more involved and there are prescribed burn associations and people are starting to burn their smaller tracts of land. And with climate change, that will help the big picture. I think that the public often is very scared about the risk of prescribed fire in their area. And what I'd really like folks to think of is that that risk of fire is there regardless of whether you burn or not. And so it's really not an if, but it's a when question. And you get to choose how you want your smoke. You get to choose how you want your fire. You have a lot more control over those constraints when you choose to, to actively go and put fire on the ground. We want to create more like an all hands, all lands approach. Even if you only have a couple acres, you can do your part.